Ladies and gentlemen, this is the greatest investment or trade you could say that I have ever seen in my entire life. This is better than anything Druckett Miller has done, Soros, Buffett, Dalio, Trump. This investment is so much, so much better. It gave a return of over 18,000% and billions and billions of dollars. And who made this amazing trade? Who was smart enough to do it? It is none other than Mackenzie Bezos. Look at her, so happy. Look at Jeff, he's already twitching, he knows what's coming. Because I am so sad to say, but these two, they're getting a divorce. And there is $137 billion on the line. Mackenzie is about to get half. That's what, like 68.5 billion? I did that in my head. We're on a calculator right before this. This chart has been floating around Twitter. It's pretty good. Married here. They got married in like 93. Divorced here. Yeah, Mackenzie. Nice work. Now, if you're thinking that maybe Jeff signed a prenup, well, it doesn't really matter. Because contrary to popular belief, prenups don't actually protect your wealth that you gained after you were married. So all those billions, when Jeff finally became the richest man in the world, she has rights to all of that. If they got a prenup, the only thing that she can't touch is whatever he had before all this Amazon success. And I mean, like, what, what did he really have before Amazon? I guess a lot of books, more <laughs> books, a little hip tilt. Oh, that's, that's sexy. Oh, more books. Oh yeah, this is the original. Amazon. He didn't have much. He was always happy though. He was a happy camper the whole time. But yes, Mackenzie is about to get half. Is that fair? I don't know. Maybe she deserves half. Maybe Jeff is a lot to put up with. But it does kind of feel like an incentive. Like things aren't going so well. You know, he didn't get you a good Valentine's Day present. And you're thinking, should I work through this or should I just bail out? And when you're thinking about bailing, you got this nice sum of money just sitting there. It's like, huh, if I bail out now, I don't got to deal with him and I get billions of dollars. Huh, what should I do? But they released a nice little statement on Twitter about why they're separating. Bezos posted, We want to make people aware of a development in our lives. As our family and close friends know, after a long period of loving exploration. Loving ex... What is that? Is that exploring loving other people? Or exploring love with each other? I don't know. After a long period of loving exploration and trial separation, we have decided to divorce and continue our shared lives as friends. That, you know, that always works out well. A lot, of, a lot of people break up and stay real good friends. We feel incredibly lucky to have found each other and deeply grateful for every one of the years we have been married to each other. If we had known we would separate after 25 years, we would do it all again. Huh, really? We've had such a great life together as a married couple, and we also see wonderful futures ahead as parents, friends, partners in ventures and projects, and as individuals pursuing ventures and adventures. <laughs> Ventures and adventures. We're gonna be partners in ventures, we're gonna have some ventures, and then we're also gonna go on some adventures. Full plate, forget about the kids. Though the labels might be different, we remain a family and remain cherished friends, Jeff and Mackenzie. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Apart from the fact that you're losing half your fortune. You know, it reminds me of when uh, Kobe Bryant was about to get a divorce and he was about to lose all that money. Well, that's immediately the first thing everybody was thinking about. Even Rick Ross and Drake had a song about it. You guys remember that Stay Scheming song? Kobe about to lose 150 M's. Kobe my, uh, okay. Kobe is my pal. I hate it had to be him. And this is my favorite line. That makes you really question whether it's fair that the other person gets half. Lady, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. This is all Drake, by the way. And then Rick Ross, you know, he has a lot of indigestion after all those chicken wings he eats. So he's like, oh, and he repeats it. Lady, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Because Kobe, right? His wife, Vanessa, she wasn't there practicing all the time with the black mamba. She didn't make him what he was. Does she deserve 150 million? Well, Kobe didn't have to give it to her because he decided to stay married. As soon as his lawyers told him what would happen, and he's like, you know what? I think we can work it out. And now they just announced that they're having their fourth child. They had three girls already, and guess what their fourth child is gonna be? Another girl. Kobe is so happy, you know? He just wanted one son, but daughters just keep coming. But every child is a blessing. Honestly, if I was Kobe, I'd just clone myself, right? You got the money. You got all 300 million or whatever now. Put it to good use. So immediately when I saw this news, I figured, wow, I had no idea Bezos was having marital problems, yet his company has been doing so well the entire time. Can you imagine how well his company is going to do now that he doesn't have any more problems? You know, I even tweeted about it. I said, scared to think what Amazon will become now that it has Bezos' undivided attention. No more wife telling him to take her out and do romantic stuff. Really clears up your plate. And everyone, you know, no one agreed with me. They're like, no, Bezos single, he's going to jump on Tinder. And I was like, no, 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 Bezos wouldn't do that. He's got too much stuff to do. He's 
focused. But sure enough, Bezos already had a thing going. He had a side chick the whole time. A young lady named Lauren Sanchez, who's not that young. And according to what I read in the tabloids, because they're very trustworthy, she supposedly dates a lot of rich guys. Bezos is uh, number four to the plate. Now, the funniest part about this is that they have found the text messages that Bezos used to send this Sanchez lady. <laughs> They're pretty good. Bezos, you know, he was focusing on some other things other than his company. His dirty dog. Should we read some? Yeah, we're gonna read some. So another reputable news source, the Daily Mail, broke this news about what Bezos was doing on his Amazon Fire phone. That's even still a thing. Revealed the shirtless selfies, a photo of his genitals. Oh God. And lusty texts. Jeff Bezos sent his married mistress. That's the big debate right now. Were they together while they were married? Jeff was married, she was married. Bezos said in his statement that he was doing loving exploration. So, I mean, I don't know, exploring other love. It emerges that the pair hooked up in hotels, private jets in both of their marital homes for months before he announced the divorce. And on CEO Jeff Bezos had been sexting Lauren Sanchez since last April. He sent shirtless selfies, shirtless, posing in front of a mirror with nothing but a towel. Jeff, Jeffrey, Jesus. Oh, these texts are really good. He said, I want to smell you. I want to breathe you in. I want to hold you tight. I want to kiss your lips. I want to love you. I am in love with you. I like Bezos. He's a risky guy. It starts with the smelling. You know, when you send a text to someone saying, I want to smell you, the other person is either going to really dig it or they're going to put a restraining order on you. So I appreciate Jeff living on the edge. Dana Schwartz on Twitter said that Jeff Bezos sex like he's an AI in a human suit. <laughs> she took a clip from our article. In one message obtained by the Inquirer on you stands today, Bezos wrote, I love you, a live girl. I will show you with my body and my lips and my eyes very soon. <laughs> It does sound like one of those AI movie scripts. No, but Jeff gets pretty romantic too. It's not all just dirty. One text said, we don't have to worry about the parachute opening because we are jumping together. Now, technically that is not correct. You need a parachute if you're jumping out of your private jet or in Bezos's case, his spaceship. But if it's working for you, it's working. So keep on going, Jeff. But he gets dirty again, of course. He said, I miss you. I want to kiss you right now and tuck you in slowly and gently. Ooh, tucking in. That's, that's sexy. And maybe in the morning, wake you up and not be quite so gentle with you. Oh, Jeff. He said it's bigger than it's ever been and it's still swelling. Now, before you jump to conclusions, he was talking about his heart. I am so full of love for you. My heart is growing just so it could have room for you. Man, Jeff, the game on this guy. I can just imagine other stuff he says. Hey girl, you know Amazon with that drone delivery only takes 20 minutes, but I could last longer than that. He's probably showed up to her doorstep naked with nothing but an Amazon Prime box just covering his junk. You know he just did it JT style too. Take a look inside, it's my in a box. It's in a box. Hipster Trader tweeted, I bet Bezos is livid about what's coming out about him and having been spied on, but it's kind of karma for him because Alexa does the same. So true, all these listening devices. Every time I mention something to someone, I'll look on my phone later and I'll have an ad for it. How is that possible? I didn't search the term, I just said it. So Bezos, get a taste of your own medicine. And I just can't imagine Jeff Bezos' dick pics coming out. It's too much, it's too much. You know, it's funny, I bet Alexa was the reason their marriage started falling apart. Jeff is just always talking about some girl named Alexa. Mackenzie didn't know who the hell it was. He's calling out for her in the middle of the night. Starts calling Mackenzie and Alexa. And from there, you know, it's just all downhill. So what does this mean for Amazon's stock price? Is it affecting how you're looking at the company? To me, it doesn't mean much. This is just funny news to talk about. But I did read an article where if they get divorced, Mackenzie is gonna have half the shares that Jeff had, which means she's gonna have a lot of voting rights. Jeff isn't gonna be just the solo biggest owner anymore in Amazon. Could that mean something? Maybe. Maybe she's a little pissed off about Sanchez. Maybe she votes against him out of spite. Maybe, but she also holds the stock. So based on how much money she's made already, I would definitely keep voting with Jeff. So really, I don't see this affecting the stock price. The entertainment though, Jeff, that is appreciated. So am I buying Amazon right now? Well, if I'm looking at it, no. The thing is in a downtrend. I would at least wait for some type of base to form before even really looking at it. Another big executive that got divorced, but somehow kept all his money, even when his company got completely destroyed. And he also ran off with a stripper or prostitute. So it's a great story coming soon. Subscribe and hit that bell so you get an email notification when it comes out. And I will see you in the next episode.